uh, when Mama Dion was finally finishing, she said something that caught my, my mind. I read the Bible somewhere in Ecclesiastes chapter 9. Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes. Can somebody pronounce it well? Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes after Proverbs or Ecclesiastes? After Proverbs chapter 9. Although the verse that she quoted was Romans chapter 8, which I'm not going to read now, but let us read chapter 9 of Ecclesiastes, verse 11. It says, I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, nor bread to the wise, nor riches to men of understanding, nor favor to men of skill, but time and chance happen to them all. That's a common verse, isn't it? Yeah, so many people have come across it. But the other verse that looks like it is found in Romans chapter 8. If you can go there, <clears throat> that's the one that John paraphrased. Romans chapter 4, verse 28. It says, And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God to those who are called according to his purpose. Romans 8, 28. Amen. Out of this, I found out that in this life that we are living, there are things that add up and determine whether you will reach or, or, or you will not reach. So I want to head the sermon that I'm about to give us a determinant. Determinant. A determinant is something that determines. It may be a characteristic or a virtue that when you look at it, it may make you prevail or fail. So it can be either way. You can either fail, it can determine failure, or it can determine a score. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, the verse that I read at Ecclesiastes says, the race is not to the swift. So if the people are running, and uh, maybe there is a false start for three people, they are they are uh, disqualified. So the person who now wins the race is not the swift. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, because some have been disqualified. So the person who, who wins that race is not the swift. So this verse says the, road, the race is not to the swift. Somebody can be muscularly built, like Goliath. And uh, David, who did it look like he would slay him? Slew him. Isn't it? So, that is where we, now we can say, not the battle to the strong. The battle is not to the strong. You can be strong, heavily built. Like there's a song that Ross Muhando sings, and there's a man with a shield. So, he's a very huge man. At one time when the, the song was when I saw it for the first time, I thought that was a statue. Only to see the man move. I said, hey, kumbe ni mutu. Ni jitu la mutu. Amen? Amu anasema pandigizi la mutu. 
pandikizi la mtu ni mtu kweli kweli so that man if it was strength somebody may still flow him as we see in the wrestling things yeah you watch wrestling you see a small man jumping on a huge man and he wins then you say that battle is not for the strong amen, amen. so there are some determinants in life that that, that may sometimes weaken or slacken and the things that uh, add up towards you clinching whatever you are supposed to get are uh, speed speed can determine uh, understanding if at all you have good understanding sometimes it can determine whether you will finish whatever you are starting isn't it yeah, because we start we, we start a lot of things and then we depend on what we say if God be on my side, I'll not lose. So we give ourselves hope in line with the word, which is very correct. But somewhere in life, some other things may determine victory, but still flow in one way or another. So I want to tell us that uh, there is this word wisdom. Sometimes you can be wise, but then sometimes your wisdom may not, may not help you. Uh, when Majon was giving the story of Esau and Jacob, I looked at it in a different way. I said, there was a determinant that made Jacob score over Esau. What was that determinant? That determinant, I, I call it speed. Speed is a determinant that can determine whether you will get it or not. Allow me to refer. When uh, Jacob was very old, advanced in years, he was almost blind. The Bible says he could just feel a sow and say this is a sow. He feel this is Jacob. So it means he was blind. So Isaac is blind but he wants to bless the first son and he tells the son go and get game something from the wild so that i can bring me meat so that i can bless you as i eat it and the mother on the side is hearing and the mother to jacob says this blessing should come jacob's way and the mother is the one that schemed when the mother schemed, the mother brought a plot and did with speed. She acted with speed. So the speed that, that they acted with even somehow baffled, baffled Isaac because it happened so speedy that the old man said, hey, you got it very quickly. How come you got it very fast? Yeah? He got it very, very fast and with speed. So he said, the voice is for Jacob. But the, the body, I can feel it. It is a sow. Because the sow was very hairy. So you can imagine they slaughtered a ram and put the skin on the hands of, of Jacob. So it was a scheme that was done. It was done so fast. So I want to say, one determinant that can make a score in this life can be speed. Sometimes things are there for us. Well, I don't concur as much with the, the scheming but sometimes speed is good. Do we agree? Yeah, speed sometimes can be very, very good. Allow me to use another, another example. There is a story in the book of Luke chapter 19. There's somebody who moved with speed. 
In the book of Luke chapter 19, there is the story of Zacchaeus. 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 According to your teacher, eh? Yes. Zacchaeus. <laughs> Zacchaeus. Luke chapter 19, verse 5 to 6. The Bible says, verse 5, And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him. And said to him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down. That haste is, be, be, hurry up. Haste is, Arak. And come down, for today I must stay at your, at your house. Then verse 6 says, So he made haste. Akafanya haraka. That's the Kiswahili version. Akafanya haraka. Why? This man really wanted to see Jesus. He went on the sycamore tree. He wanted to see Jesus. And Jesus spotted him. When Jesus spoke, Jesus told him, Come down fast, I'll be at your house. So he moved with speed to go. Speed can be a determinant for success. Praise the name of the Lord. That's what I'm driving to say. Speed can enable you to achieve in a very fast way. Praise the name of the Lord. Other things that can also make us achieve, other than relying that everything happens good to them that love God, yeah? Some things like understanding, you can quicken your understanding. Quicken your understanding. There were people in the Bible who thought quickly, thought right, and acted with speed. I see there's a story of I think it is Abraham. In the book of, let us see in the book of, I think Genesis chapter, which God gives me the place. Genesis chapter 18. Genesis chapter 18. Yes, chapter 18. <coughs> I'll read from verse 5. Verse 5, it says, And I will bring a morsel of bread and you, that you may refresh your hearts. Yeah, there were some, some men that came, some three men, and the Bible says they were angels. I know when angels are about and around, people should act because angels are messengers that can bring back speed answers. So on, in verse 6, in verse 6, the Bible says, So Abraham hurried into the tent. He hurried. He acted with speed. He hurried. So Abraham hurried into the tent to Sarah and said, Quickly, make ready three measures of fine meal. Knead it and make cakes. What were they acting there? They were acting with speed in order to tap a blessing from the angels. Praise the name of the Lord. What is it that we need and what determines the speed will determine whether you will clinch it or not. Speed is a determinant and a good determinant. Praise the name of the Lord. So Abraham hurried into the tent to Sarah and said, quickly, make ready three measures of fine meal. Knead it and make cakes. The Bible says, and Abraham ran. He ran to the herd. He ran. He didn't just do it slowly. The Bible says, he ran to the herd, took a tender and good calf, gave it to a young man, and he hastened to prepare it. Can you imagine? Somebody who wants a blessing. You must act with speed. Let it be the determinant for you to achieve. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So it is very, very true that speed is a great determinant. Speed. Even your understanding should be speed. 
Because when Abraham saw them, he interpreted it well, quickly. So the ability to understand and understand quickly gives you what it takes. Praise the name of the Lord. When Sodom and Gomorrah was almost burning, there was an act of spirit that was also raised somewhere. Maybe, I think it's the next chapter, chapter 19. Uh, I don't really have the verse. But this story, before this thing was, was, was happened, maybe I will refer in Luke chapter 17. That is the, the reference verse that I have. If somebody can help me through. Luke chapter 17. Mm. Yes, chapter 17. And verse 32. There's a very short verse. Short verse. That short verse will give us the clue. Mm, verse 32. The Bible says, Remember God's wife. That's what the Bible says. <laughs> but the story is in chapter 19 of Genesis. So remember God's wife. When they were told that Sodom and Gomorrah is going to burn, what did they do? They were told, run out. Run very fast and don't look back. Run! So here was Lord. Yeah? The, the daughters, they are all running. Speed! I'm telling you, if you, if you can do things with speed, with speed, speed is what matters. Speed is the determinant that you are going to achieve. Speed. So when they went away, Lord's wife remained behind. And maybe she was like, I want to see that fire. She is a pillar of salt, of salt to date, isn't it? Yeah, the people who have gone to that country have seen it. It is there today, the pillar of salt she became because of lagging behind. Someone to tell us those things that happen is good for us, those things that happen is good, they, they happen good to the righteous. But who have got determination? And the determinant is speed. They work with speed. One day, we were here. Church had finished. And somebody said, we need to make better the speakers. And uh, there was some gossip. Somebody decided to fix the speakers. Today, can you see, can you hear them? They are very, very clean. Somebody acted with speed. The speed that can grant you the grace to achieve. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Yeah, God bless you, Brother Basin, for that. Praise God. I want to say that speed determines whether we get married or not. How prepared are you? Speed. Let us look at somebody like Abigail. Abigail. Abigail in the house? Not that Abigail. The Abigail in the Bible. First Samuel chapter 25. This is a story of a man, of a, of a lady and a man. <clears throat> I will not read it all, but there is a portion of it. First Samuel chapter 24. I will read verse 15 through 18. The Bible says, verse 15 through 18. There was a proposal. Mm, ah, I'm there now. First Samuel chapter 15. Chapter 25, First Samuel chapter 25, verse 15. Mm -hmm. First Samuel chapter 25, verse 15. The Bible says, But the men were very good to us. 
and we were not hurt, nor did we miss anything. Yes. I read again, but the men were very good to us, and we were not hurt, nor did we miss anything, as long as we accompanied them when we were in the fields. And they were all, and they, uh, they were a wall to us both by night and day. All the time we were with them keeping the ship. Verse 17. Now therefore, know and consider what you will do. For harm is determined against our master and against all his household. For who is such a scoundrel that one cannot speak to him? This is a description of Nabal being Abigail's husband. Yeah. He is referred to as a scoundrel and he is determined as a person of folly. That is foolish. So in verse 18, Abigail is reacting. She is reacting very, very fast. The verse said, verse 18, Then Abigail made haste and took 200 loaves of bread, two skins of wine, Fine, five sheep already dressed, five sears of roasted green, grain, 100 clusters of raisins, and 100 cakes of figs, and loaded them on donkeys. Why was she doing this? She was trying to be good where Nabal failed. And if you read the story down, 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 the Bible says that when bad came to us, David proposed to Abigail and she didn't even wait to mourn. Can you imagine? She didn't even wait to mourn. Abuenda kulia ati. Buanangu wa mekupa. Ya di kupaliana tuna na Dawudi na kawaleo. Amen. Do you think it is true? First Samuel chapter 25, verse 39. Verse 39 to 42. The Bible says, So when David heard that Nabal was dead, he said, Blessed be the Lord, who has pleaded the cause of my, of my reproach from the hand of Nabal, and has kept his servant from evil. For the Lord has returned the wickedness of Nabal on his own head. And David sent and proposed to Abigail to take her as his wife. When the servants of David had come to Abigail at Carmel, they spoke to her saying, David sent us to ask you to become his wife. The Bible says in verse 41, Then she arose, bowed her face to the altar, said, Here is your maid servant, a servant to wash the feet of the servants of my, of my Lord. So Abigail rose in haste. So Abigail rose in haste and rode on a donkey, attended by five of her maidens, Yarus, and she followed the messengers to David, the messengers of David, and became his wife. How many times have you been proposed to? But you are still looking elsewhere. Maybe we will tell you to say my yes. Sisi kuzi vijana wanaenda kwa magoti. Wanasema will you marry me? How do they respond? Ah, mi bado na ponda na. Oh my god. How do they respond? <laughs> oh my god. Thank you. <laughs> Amen. Si wako. Si wameku propose ya wengi wamekuja unasema ah si kutaki wewe ah mm, I don't like a short man I don't like a tall man don't like a, a person who is not working see here there are very many you've turned away maybe at a Mr. Right will turn away think about it what back to his speed amen so the action of speed as a determinant 
Tume exhaust. Atuwezi ku exhaust kuna examples ni nyingi. I don't want to go to any more. But I want to tell us speed determines some factors. It's a determinant whether it shall be well or not. Speed. Act with speed. Me, my, my, my point is act with speed and get it. Act with speed. You know when we say here, mm, si utafanya ABCD, uh, bado unazembea kufikiria ndio uje kusema. Think about it. Act with speed. Amen? See it is a idea for normalism. Let us all rise. So I want us to go before the Lord and tell the Lord to activate our speed. You know when Jesus did things, he did things and he also wanted to accomplish them. He wanted them to be accomplished. I'll give you another example then I'll do it. I'm done. When uh, in Matthew chapter 4 verse 22 when, when Jesus was calling the twelve can you imagine people by the seaside casting nets they are there with their parents then Jesus just comes around and says come follow me and they just left immediately let me read verse 20 verse 22 let me read from verse 21 Matthew chapter 4 going on from there he saw two other brothers James the son of Zebedee and John his brother in the boat with Zebedee their father mending their nets he called them verse 22 says and immediately immediately means it is hurriedly and immediately they left the boat and their father and followed him they left the boat and their father they left the boat and they left their father also. And they followed Jesus immediately. So your immediateness will, be, will, will cause you to get something. How immediate are you? I look at the story of Elisha and Elijah. Eh? I see somebody, Elisha, taking the cow, slaughtering it, making a feast very, very fast, following Elijah. I want that mantle. He is just there. Ah, uh, he's told, but wait a minute. He doesn't. He said, "I'm not waiting. He's just there." How did Elisha act when he wanted the double portion? I'm telling you, he acted with speed. The Bible records that. Maybe you read First Kings chapter 19. The story is there. First Kings chapter 19. I'm not reading, but the story is there. The full, full scripture. That story. So Elisha left everything there's a place jesus is telling the disciples let the body get but, but let the dead bury the dead yeah let the dead bury the dead it means that god needs us to work with speed so just as you go before the lord ask god where did i slacken where was i sluggish where did it i act fast father i'm ready show me the morning as we were praying, we were saying, Lord, give us direction. Maybe the direction was shown, but you didn't act fast. So, where is the direction? The Lord is going to give if we pray accordingly. So, we go before the Lord, we ask God, where did we go wrong? Where did we act with speed? And he shall answer. Come on, somebody is talking to the Lord. Lord, we thank you. Master, we give you praise. Savior, we are humble before you because you are God. Father, where, where, Lord, did we drag our feet? Where, Lord, did we look back like Lord's wife? Where, Lord? Where, 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 Lord? Show us where so that we can make right. Father, you have charted the course for us. And you need us, Lord. Act with speed. Father, forgive our faults of old that we slacken. And you need us, Lord, to walk 
our pride. Father, we give you praise. Father, we come to you this day. Be our God. Be our Savior. Be our Master. Be our King.
and speed, Lord God, of wisdom. Father, we seek you, O oh God, today. Where, Lord, we have heard and be sluggers, King Jesus, enthuse us again. Give us the zeal. Rejuvenate, Lord God, our lives. Rejuvenate our thought life, Lord Jesus Christ. Rejuvenate our understanding, O oh dear God, and our pace. Make it quicker, so that Lord we may achieve. King Jesus, I commit our people to you. In whatever ways that Lord they have sluggard, King Jesus, forgive us all collectively. And the Father, as we grow again, Master, watch over us and stand with us. Bless us and enable us, Lord God, to walk upright in every regard. Father, we give you praise. Bless your people. Watch over them. Stand with them. Where the Lord God they were nearly done, and Father they doubted before they agreed, King Jesus, forgive us, Lord, and Lord God, give us the ability, Lord God, to clinch and to make haste in every issue. We love you, we honor you. Father, we believe that, Lord, the word is for us. We clinch it and embrace it. In the mind of the Father, the Son, and the Spirit, I pray.